Dolphins Today is presented by Manscaped. If you go to manscaped.com and use promo code DOLPHINS, you can get 20% off plus free shipping on their Boxers 2.0. We have some breaking news here on Dolphins Today. Miami is signing wide receiver Mohamed Sanu. This coming the day veterans report to training camp. We've seen multiple signings across the NFL. I was looking at my phone wondering if the Dolphins were going to make a move today. They did. This coming from Adam Schefter. Veteran wide receiver Mohamed Sanu is signing with the Miami Dolphins per his agent Mike McCartney. So Mike McCartney, his agent, tweeted that he's excited for Sanu to sign with the Finns. Adam Schefter confirming that it is happening. Mohamed Sanu is the newest member of the Miami Dolphins. And folks, this is why you subscribe, because when breaking news happens, we have you covered. If you're a Dolphins fan, hit that big red subscribe button, because we're going to keep you up to date on the fins. I was out on the golf course the other day when Byron Jones was placed on the pup list. I still got you guys a video. If I'm in studio, if I'm out of studio, I'm going to get you guys a video when breaking Dolphins news goes down. So subscribe the channel because we're trying to get to 26,000 subscribers. Let's talk about Sanu. He is a veteran that spent the last has spent the last 10 seasons in the NFL, most recently with the San Francisco 49ers. Now he spent last season with the 49ers. He's now reunited with head coach Mike McDaniel, who was the offensive coordinator last season in San Francisco. He's also reunited with wide receivers coach Wes Welker, who was the wide receivers coach with the 49ers last year. So a lot of ties that Sanu has to this current Miami Dolphins coaching staff. And this is a bit of an unexpected signing because the Dolphins have plenty of wide receiver depth. Did not see this coming, I have to admit. Now go down and grade the signing. Type A, B, C, D, or F. It is the pinned comment on today's video, so go and reply to it when you get a second. Go down and grade the signing. Go back to school. Type A, B, C, D, or F down in the comment section. I'm going to give it a C. I mean... I'm just surprised they signed another wide receiver. You don't need another wide receiver. Now, I'm guessing this is more of a depth signing, another body to have at training camp in case injuries happen, in case somebody goes down. And it's also probably a pretty cheap deal. Now, we do not have the contract details yet. We will probably sometime today. So stay posted here on Dolphins today. Subscribe to the channel. Go to our community page because the more details that come out about this, we will let you know. But I'm going to give it a C signing because, yeah, it's cheap and he's a veteran. He'll add some depth to the wide receiver room. But the Dolphins did not need another wide receiver. However, according to Jonathan Jones of CBS Sports, the Dolphins were calling around. Here is what Jonathan Jones is reporting. Veteran receiver Mohamed Sanu signs with the Dolphins per his agent Mike McCartney 7 after Miami made several calls to free agents yesterday to bolster the wide receiver room. So Jones is reporting that Miami made a lot of calls yesterday for wide receivers. Mohamed Sanu, they ultimately decide to bring him in, but that is a little bit surprising. The Dolphins have a lot of depth at that position. They can only carry six or seven wide receivers. Sanu, now that he has joined the team, means that they have 13 wide receivers on this roster. Here is what Sanu did last season. He played in eight games, just recorded 15 receptions, 177 yards, no touchdowns, 11.8 yards per catch. Here is what he has done the last four seasons. Now, 2018, he was with the Atlanta Falcons. That was one of the best seasons of his career. He went for 838 yards, four touchdowns. The season, that next season, 2019, that was his last season with the Atlanta Falcons. He went for 520 yards, but the last two seasons, he has not been the same wide receiver. He was really good in Atlanta. He was pretty good in Cincinnati when he started his career. So he played for the Bengals the first couple seasons of his career from 2012 to 2015. From 2016 to 2019, he played for the Atlanta Falcons. 2019, played for the Patriots, so finished the 2019 season with the Patriots. 2020, he played for both the Lions and the 49ers and then spent last season with Mike McDaniel in San Francisco, but his production has gone down significantly. He struggled to stay on the field. You might even say he's a little bit washed. Here is where he fits in to the Dolphins' wide receiver depth chart. You traded for Tyreek Hill. He's your wide receiver one right now. You signed Cedric Wilson. He is your third wide receiver in this offense behind Waddle. So this is a very, very good wide receiver room. In my opinion, the best wide receiver room in the league. 
you have the fastest wide receivers in the game in Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle on the field at the same time. Now, you drafted Eric Azucana. You signed Trent Sherfield. Lynn Bowden Jr. did not play last season. He's back. You signed River Craycraft. You have Preston Williams still on this team. And now you signed Sanu. You see all those guys on your screen? Not all of them are going to make this football team. This is wild. He might take a spot from a younger guy. And whenever we've talked about signing, you know, let's say Odell Beckham Jr., T.Y. Hilton, any other wide receiver on Dolphins today, a lot of y'all have said, well, I don't want to take a spot away from a younger guy like Lynn Bone Jr. That might happen with Muhammad Sanu coming to Miami. Before we get into more about Sanu, I want to tell you about our friends at Manscaped. And they're giving you the Boxers 2.0, 20% off plus free shipping. Manscaped.com, promo code DOLPHINS. You have to use that code to get the deal. And these are the most comfortable boxers on the planet. I can promise you that. I wear them every day. They're a must-have if you're a dude. 20% off plus free shipping. Code DOLPHINS. Go and take advantage of it. That link and that promo code will be in the description of this video as well as in the comment section. Mohamed Sanu, the most uh, recent notable move that the Dolphins have made. All of these moves you're seeing on your screen have been on the offensive side. They signed Alec Ingold. They signed Connor Williams. They're Teddy Bridgewater. That is their backup quarterback. They signed three running backs. Raheem Mostert, Chase Edmonds, Sony Michelle. They signed Teron Armstead. They signed Cedric Wilson. Traded for Tyreek Hill. This has been a very eventful Miami Dolphins offseason. They have not made a move in several weeks. In fact, this is the first signing they have made since signing Porter Gustin, a practice squad linebacker who spent last season with the Cleveland Browns. It has been a long time coming since the Dolphins have made a move. I was hoping it was going to be for an offensive lineman. Instead, it is for another wide receiver. What is your one-word reaction to the signing? Go down in the comments section and chime in. Let me know. My one word is okay. It's just a little bit odd. You didn't need another wide receiver. Now, I understand that Sanu has a lot of connections to McDaniel and Wes Welker. I understand that. They probably really like him. He's good to have in the locker room. He's good for depth. But you didn't need another wide receiver. You need offensive linemen. You haven't made a move in weeks. I was thinking it was going to be another offensive lineman. But again, it's probably going to be a cheap deal. And he might not even make the team. He is not a guarantee to make this football team. In fact, I think Lynn Bowden Jr., Preston Williams, and maybe even Trent Sherfield have a better shot to make this football team than Muhammad Sanu. Now, will Sanu make the team? Type Y for yes or type N for no down in the comments section. Again, this coming the day, veterans report to training camp. It's going to be very interesting to see Sanu at training camp, how he fits into this team. Last week, we saw rookies report. August 13th is your first preseason game. Then your second preseason game is August 20th. So some upcoming dates here. The 53-man roster deadline is August 31st. And unless Sanu just flat out sucks in the preseason, he might be one of the last guys cut. If he does get cut, it's going to come down to the wire. Buckle up because this wide receiver competition is going to be crazy. It was already crazy. Now you add Muhammad Sanu into the fold, it's going to be wild. And folks, I do apologize because I know that a lot of y'all got a push notification on a training camp preview video. <laughs> it literally happened right as Muhammad Sanu got signed. So we had to put that video, uh, we have to push that video to tomorrow potentially, so stay tuned for that, but I will talk about the craziness of the wide receiver room in that video, so buckle up, it's going to be a lot of fun covering Dolphins training camp, appreciate you all watching Dolphins today, if you haven't already, go down and subscribe to the channel.